cake today. I just really wanted to do that. I just really, really, really wanted to do a Q&A. So I posted on my community tab and huh, I also tweeted. Oh! Let's do this, let's chat. I, I, like, I don't, I hope people don't think that this is me being like self-serving. Uh, by the way, I write them all by hand. We are gonna get right into it. Are you happy with your life right now? What's going on with it? Please talk for two minutes. Start the clock. Um, life's actually pretty good right now. And whenever I say that, whether it's internally or externally, I immediately go like this. And I'm expecting something bad to happen. Probably will. That's how life works. Good things and bad things are always happening, but things are good. My cats are on a diet. They've been on a diet for a couple weeks now because Bones was getting chonky. And then Bird, for some reason, she, you can't even tell like, where she carries her weight. They were both 14 pounds. Uh, I came to find out that I was, I had my portions wrong and I think I was feeding them bit too much than they were supposed to be eating on a daily basis, but Bones is also a food thief. You might have been seeing my Instagram stories calling Bones. Bones the food thief Miller. And he's already down to like 12.7, which I'm very proud of him. It's been a slow and gradual loss of just like getting him to the proper portions and also not allowing them to have like food to steal from each other. So that's, um, that's like one of the big things going on in my life. Is the Gmail address on your Twitter bio for business inquiries or only? For business inquiries only. Um, yes, actually, that is for if anybody wants to collab or have it like promotional stuff. Today's video is brought to you by Green Chef. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company. With fresh produce, premium proteins, and organic ingredients, you can trust that Green Chef is the number one best meal kit for eating well. With this meal kit subscription, I'm able to make amazing meals with options for all kinds of lifestyles, including keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian. They've got their fast and fit. They've got Mediterranean. And of course, they have gluten-free options as well. With easy to follow recipes, including fast and fit meals, which are under 700 calories, and ready in 25 minutes, which is great for me with my active lifestyle and my free time is very precious to me. So if I can make a quick meal with some good protein after the gym, this is my go-to. Green Chef is ever-changing too. They're always adding new, easy-to-follow recipes to their selection all the time so you'll never get bored. And they have expert chefs curating every recipe so you know that every meal is going to be nutritious and balanced as well as restaurant quality. Today, I made myself some Middle Eastern-style beef bowls. This literally tasted like a high-end dish that was freshly taken from the kitchen and put straight onto my table. Except for I didn't have to drive anywhere and it was less expensive and I get to feel the accomplishment that I made it myself. These recipes make me feel so capable in the kitchen. When I first started learning to cook, I was wasting so much food just trying to figure out how much produce, meats, or other ingredients that I needed. Green Chef will send you pre-measured ingredients and pre-made sauces to save you on waste and time. And now you can use my code COMIL60 for 60% off and free shipping. Go to greenchef.com for more details you won't be disappointed. These truly are some of the best meals I've ever made for myself. And that's not necessarily saying I was a bad cook before, but I'm not ruling that out either. Thank you so much to Green Chef and let's get back to the video. If you ever want to reach out to me, YouTube comments, Twitter posts, commenting on Instagram pictures, all those things, do it. Like, I, I appreciate that because I know I'm very vulnerable and open with you guys. So I appreciate that you guys would want to do that in return, but I will say, if you feel like you need to say it in private, that might not be, it might not be appropriate because I'm doing what I'm saying, what I'm saying publicly. And that's where you get into the whole parasocial relationships of it all. There are so many public ways to communicate. So feel free to try those. And that's my hot take for the day. How do you stay present? I sometimes find myself struggling to live in the moment and instead worry about my future. I definitely struggle with, by the way, he's in my lap again. This is just how it goes. I struggle with staying present all the time. It's actually a constant struggle. I feel like my phone has made it harder for me over time to just like sit with myself and sit with my own thoughts. I feel like I've gotten more impatient and being on my phone as often as I was caused me to be less present. So some things that I've done, I will say like therapy helped me a lot with being present and like reflecting rather than worrying about what's to come. 
And like just I practice a lot of just acknowledging the things around me I, I feel like I grew up just a very generally thankful person Just thankful for the things that I have I think that comes from like being in a Mormon family and like always wanting to be thankful and like never seeming ungrateful Your Keanu impression as Ted was perfect Do you practice impressions or do you just try it in the moment? Thank you. So this is the video they're referring to. Let's play Uno. Do you guys know how to play? Yeah, and I yeah. have to win. Key. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go to military school in Alaska. That was a really fun video. Obviously, I think Ted Theodore Logan Esquire was specifically very easy to do because I've been like I've watched that movie so many times like since I was a kid. I definitely practice impressions before I go into a video or if it's a try not to laugh bit, I've us it's usually me doing it for the first time. But I do feel like I have a lot of like impressions that are just up there that I haven't tried yet, but I do think I can do. Doing Lois Griffin, I've been working at Smosh for 8 years and nobody knew that I could do a Lois cuz I just never did it. And it's like, oh, Pina, wow. I feel like I could have been a voice actor in another life because there are a lot of different voices up there. Not just the mean ones. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. I'd say impressions. If I'm doing it for a video, like, it needs to be good. So I do practice sometimes. But there are characters that, like, I truly didn't say a word until I was on camera. Like my romance novel character in Jackie's Exes. I would say I think I maybe said a few words as Lizabella Hines in Shane's Exes. Which is, it's like a really risky thing to do. Like, I, you, Amanda practices her character and she has a down pat when she comes out. Which I think is, it's smarter to do that. If you weren't on Smosh and your path didn't take you that way, what do you think you'd be doing now instead? Um, honestly, before Smosh, Vine led me to pursuing film to, to getting Smosh. But like, if I had just stayed at my pharmacy job and just stayed like on that path of like, I like making videos, I would probably be currently a pharmacy technician. Not currently, I don't know, but I probably would have ended up- Hey! Be nice to each other. Be excellent to one another. Bones, you're being a dick. <sighs> Sometimes the kids just play too rough. Yeah, so I probably would have gotten my pharmacy technician license. Then I probably would have just kept making YouTube videos. And maybe YouTube would have, maybe my personal YouTube would have taken off. Who knows? Uh, I was a pretty weird creator back then. I would say, if you guys ever want to see me reacting to my old YouTube videos, I can do that. So much of it has copyrighted music, but I think we could make it work. Let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in. But yeah, I think I would have been all right. I would have found, I was always a YouTube person, so I would have found continuous ways to feel creatively fulfilled while still just doing like busy, busy work as a pharmacy tech. I love busy work. Someone asked about the meaning of my tattoos. So yeah, I probably won't do a full tattoo tour because that feels a little intimate. But, uh, obviously this is one I mentioned possibly getting in my previous Q&A, and a lot of them are just kind of movie references, um, and like, family references. I plan on a lot of my tattoos just kind of being, like, references to my roots and all the things that have made me who I am. I'm so- I'm loving it. I- I'm loving these- this journey of getting tattoos so much because I've always struggled with expressing myself and like expressing my personality and this has been such a validating way of doing that of just like literally putting references of the type of person I am all over my body and just things that matter to me and it feels it's awesome because for all those days where I was like oh my outfits feel too boring they don't express how interesting I am next question how important is it to you to be an openly queer person Growing up, you never saw people like us living our truth. You're such a baby. Are you such a baby? Get up here. Come on. My little son. Oh, and then go right there and see I'm right here. Oh no, you wanna be in my lap instead? You can't mess with my lens cap. You can't. So obviously since I've been on the internet for years and years, you've seen me evolve and previous versions of me that I don't agree with anymore, that I've just like evolved from since then. I think it's important for people to see 
that. Obviously, that's not the only reason I exist online. I do a lot of stuff. I've loved this journey of being so open. These are videos where I'm being really vulnerable and like very making this content really personal. So like, yeah, if there is negative criticism, it can feel personal because it's, it's just me on the line. But like the more I do it, the more I see how important it is that I do it. Ultimately, I am so open about everything that I am so that people don't feel alone because, I don't know, I think it's just so important to be who you are, to weed out the ones who don't tolerate you and don't accept you because the more you're real to yourself, the more people will be drawn to you because I think people can really tell. Obviously, if you're, if you're an asshole to somebody, you're like, what, I'm just being me. Like, that's not good but now hey look you're being honest and we're getting somewhere because you shouldn't be an asshole but at least you're being honest <laughs> maybe for those people who don't understand people like me i hope that i can be a stepping stone like a stepping stone in the right direction for them to start understanding people that are different from themselves. It's been really interesting online lately, especially I was just looking at newest comments on a couple of my recent YouTube videos as well as like fan edits where they'll just like take a clip of something that they think is funny and like I've never seen so much negativity about who I am and I don't see myself as a prime representative for LGBTQIA+, because I still feel like I benefit from normative, like... I feel like... With every one negative comment, there's 20 plus amazing comments from you guys, and I just want to say I appreciate you for... If you don't agree with something I say or don't like something I do or say, I appreciate the people who don't take that as a fuel to be a hateful person. I try to create the community and the environment around myself online as a place where we can just be authentically ourselves and be real and relate to each other because the more we do that, the more the people who try to alienate that, the weaker that power is from the people who try to make you feel alienated. Ah, oh, I feel, I just, I love you guys a lot. It's really, really cool. Favorite go-to restaurants. Ginya Ramen Bar is my favorite ramen spot. It's like a, they have a bunch of locations around the US and maybe in other countries, I'm not sure. If you have only ever had cup noodles or like instant ramen, go to Jinya. Jinya is like a great entry point into the world of like amazing authentic gourmet ramen. So do that. You know what's interesting is like seeing the same person ask a ton of questions. I just now realized that that was happening. Wow. Hopefully if I missed your question, I'm sorry. Did not mean to. If I, if, and if I answered one person's like many questions, Sorry. Do you miss making any of the old Smosh video ideas? Honestly, yeah. So back at Defy, our budget was insane. Like, if it was a good video idea, we were given a lot of money to do it because Defy, the money wasn't real. I, as far as I know, they were always broke, but we somehow were given the budget to create all these really cool, amazing projects that I do miss. And we like tried really hard to keep them going, but at the end of the day, it's just not financially responsible to be making five minute videos with insane wardrobe and effects and stuff. I love making music videos. I love making stuff that's like based on IP. So, you know, like Marvel videos, all, all like all that stuff. I've directed them, I've acted in them. They're super fun. And maybe one day we can do like crazy stuff like that. Who knows? Top five Try Not To Laugh bits that aren't yours. I don't know. There's so, there's literally so many. And now the world's <laughs> fastest swimmer ever. Glark! 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 <laughs> we are shopping. We're <laughs> 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 a hot dog on a stick. Oh, that's so sexy. I don't like that. Laser. <laughs> I don't like the stick thing. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Excuse me. <laughs> and so I was talking to Jennifer and I was like, ding dong, ding dong, ding. Oh no, it's midnight and I haven't done my Duolingo. <laughs> Bonjour. Konnichiwa. Yashu Jumbo. I don't even know what language is. <laughs> Hey, coach! I'm, I'm, I'm here to trial for the thick team! Oh. <laughs> Red flag! You're not even real! Yeah, yes, I am! <laughs> Ramsey! What the heck is going on out there? You're disappointing me, your coach! Teddy Roosevelt! <laughs> <laughs> You were supposed to make it big! Sorry, coach. Just... You were just supposed to go off to college and have a great life! My heart's just not in the game, coach! Well, we better get your heart in the game! Then you better bring me some pictures of Spider-Man right away! <laughs> <laughs> There's like 30 bits plus per episode, and we've done 120 or something, so that's like 3,000 bits minimum if I did the math right, and that's like so funny if I did the math wrong and I said it so confidently. There's just bits where I straight up lose my mind because they're so funny. Uh, Sorry, I don't understand. Every goddamn day. I gotta tell this bitch to shut up. I love your guys' edits, and I love when you guys send questions, especially when I ask you to. I'm just gonna show you guys this screenshot of someone simply saying, no, I will not submit a question. And now that I've finished those questions, I do wanna ask you guys, what content do you want to see from me? I have a bunch of ideas, but I've just noticed in my views and stuff, maybe it's the algorithm, or maybe these videos just are not as interesting as I thought they would be. I wanna hear from you guys what you want to see you know just let me know i want to hear i want to hear your thoughts i love you guys take care of yourself love yourself show them who's boss i don't know